the lives of so many people. But an organization called Walk with Sally's White Light White Night events makes the journey a little easier. More than 1,200 guests joined at the plaza at Continental Park for the event founder Nick Arquette calls a healing celebration. We're uh, kind of in a big deal tonight because it's our 10 year anniversary. So white light is really a healing color that my mom and I would meditate when she was sick. Sally's my mom and I started the organization to help other kids whose mom or dad has cancer uh, and sibling. And white light is kind of a healing and a meditation we did and I thought, you know what, what a perfect name bring people together in white and share with them at night that we're actually here together as a community. And I hope that it's an inspiration to people. I think it's amazing. I love looking out and you just kind of see everybody coming together in solitary, you know, in solidarity and wearing color that celebrates life and light. The event itself, it usually raises close to 300,000 after we're all said and done. We're hoping to always beat those numbers, but to be able to make that kind of money helps support our programs and services for almost six months. The charitable organization's motto is, one child at a time. Well, Walk With Sally is a simple concept in some way. It's about friendship. It's about putting together a child with a mentor who's had an experience of cancer. That mentor knows what it feels like to go through a cancer experience. Whether you're 40, 50, or you were 16 like me, when your mom dies, or your dad dies, or gets sick, there's an impact. So matching a child with a mentor that hopefully they stay together for a long time. Bringing hope, bringing light, and I think letting a kid know you matter and it's okay. Arquette says Walk With Sally has matched over 37 children since the last White Light White Night event. Everyone always thinks about the patient recovering, but when that patient is a parent and they have young children, they are not focusing on themselves. They are focusing on, oh my God, I missed my child's thing because of chemo. I, I, I need to be there for my child and they are not getting the proper rest they need. And with this mentor program, it gives them a break. I'm a cancer survivor. This organization definitely hits close to home. I'm also a mother. So I think what they do when they're providing mentorship programs for kids who are affected by cancer is just so amazing and so special. And my sister's kids were quite young when I was going through it. and. I know it was really confusing and tough for them, so I think what Walks with Sally does is just so beautiful. I think grief is a very lonely experience, and I feel like as a human being, your tendencies are to just try and fix it yourself. And I think that creating mentorships for people that have gone through these things and pairing them with people that are all going through similar experiences can help someone survive. I sent a little girl to them to get a mentor, and it really changed her life. You know, being a nine-year-old without a mother in a new area, it was really nice for her to have somewhere that she could really talk to someone and feel comfortable having only a father at that point. I had a prostatectomy three years ago, prostate cancer. I'm now very involved with the Prostate Cancer Foundation. And uh, this is a condition that's very common and men shouldn't be so freaked out about it. And there's all kinds of things to be done now. And I'm here to tell you, it's no big deal. I mean, it was a big deal at the <laughs> yeah, moment, but, <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. What are you uh, looking forward to tonight at White Light White Night? Uh, I'm look I'm gonna go see all these booths and see what's going on here. There's some good looking food over there, so uh, I I'm ready to go. We could understand why Dr. Drew was in a hurry. There were 26 restaurants, a brewery with seven different brews, and even a wine room. Attendees could also choose from over 250 auction items, all for a good cause. So just a lot of really special things, an art installation where you can actually put who is your Sally? And that's really putting something on the board that represents your family member or somebody that was impacted by cancer. The stories here are just incredibly heart-wrenching every year and it just really makes you want to give and give back. Mentor Danielle Aiello and her mentee Samantha Salvalvaro received the Lifetime Friendship Award this year. Sam and I have that common bond, if you will, that we both lost our, our mom from cancer. So getting the award is is really a little overwhelming to be honest because it's it's being recognized for something that I, I'm, I'm loving doing and that is from my heart. It just makes me feel like great inside because I don't have to be alone through stuff that I'm going through. Samantha is not alone indeed. Though she and many others have lost their Sally, they will have lifelong friends to walk with. 
Everyone's been fed and money has been raised, but White Light, White Night is far from over as the stars sparkle throughout the night. Reporting for All Segundo TV, I'm Amy Liu.